Hi, I'm Rachel Ellsworth, a speech language pathologist and owner at Speech Corner, and I'm here to demonstrate the use of our Speech Corner photo cards, our big deck of S and Z carryover activities. So inside this box are 50 cards that target different activities used for um, S and Z in different positions and in clusters for carryover activities. When you open it up, you'll get a table of contents card. So this particular deck targets initial S, medial S, final S, initial S clusters, final S clusters, and triple S clusters. It also targets initial Z, medial Z, final Z, and mix Z. And you're basically getting 10 cards per section. So when you look at them, they have a variety of activities. One of the activities is that you describe each picture using the three words listed below it. So there's a, a small picture, three words that use your target sound, and the student uses it to describe or explain what's happening in the picture. And so the front and back of that card are the two activities. Then the next card will be read each sentence starter, then complete the sentence. So there's three pictures here. It gives you a sentence starter with uh, your targets showing up in the uh, sentence, usually at least twice. And then the student would finish the sentence. And then when you flip it over, you get two front and back card with that type of activity. The next activity is a nice large picture. And then the back gives you a paragraph and five follow-up questions. The paragraph is sound loaded, having your particular, if you look in the top corner, it'll let you know what it's targeting. Here, this particular one's initial S. Then the initial S shows up in the paragraph approximately 10 or so times. And then the five follow-up questions are questions where the answer, um, the target word is embedded in the answer, so them answering any of those. So you get two cards, two separate stories, and that target that activity. And then the last um, activities is the that they fill in the sentence. So there's no photos for these. They give you um, a vocabulary box and you fill in, use those vocabulary words to fill in the sentences. And it's a front and back for that. So when you use this deck, you get over 80 different activities for the students to work on. Like I said, 10 um, activities per target, per sound and position. And so that's a lot of different activities for your students that need advanced level articulation practice um, for S and Z and the clusters. So if this describes any of the needs of the clients or students on your caseload, please feel free to visit speechcorner.com and look up our Speech Corner photo cards, big deck of S and Z carryover activities, and take a look to see if they'll meet the needs of your clients. Thank you.